Nocturne number six is another personal favorite of mine. I love this particular nocturne because the opening melody uses only stepwise motion, but lots of changes of harmony underneath that right hand melody. I also mark this one with one of my favorite terms, andante amore vole, again, lovingly, caressingly. And I would also like this opening statement, uh, and in general all the way through, to have a fair amount of rubato and flexibility. This particular nocturne would, would sound just dreadful if it was played only uh, metronomically. It just would not have the character or the style of this era. So let's listen to a little bit of the opening of this nocturne in A minor. Now, if I were to play that first line metronomically, it would sound like this. Which I think you might admit is quite boring in uh, character. In the third line of this piece, actually measure nine, what I do is, again, I change the melody around a little tiny bit, very minimally, but instead of going down and back, I go up like this, which gives it, again, a nicer variety and a different character. I love measure 13 through 16 because we have this series of cascading harmonies that move right down the keyboard. And I, I just love this sound. And that little four measure phrase is followed by a poco moso, or little more motion section that starts off in C major and goes through several different key changes. So there are lots of surprises on this next page. Let me start in measure 13. And this modulates to the key of C where the Pocomoso starts. So I really want to move with this left hand eighth note rhythm. Real surprise there, you're not expecting to go to E flat major. It goes back to C major, and then another surprise down in measure 29 when I go from this chord to D major. There's a short little codetta at the end of this nocturne in measure 43 when we have the final statement of this little motif in the right hand. We'll see a quarter rest in the right hand, followed by a half note chord an octave higher. I would like to take a nice graceful arc up here with the right hand so that it doesn't look rushed at all and it would look very, very natural and artistic. And take your time going back down. Again, at the end of this piece, I would like to see some beautiful, relaxed choreography, never in a hurry to leave the keys on that last chord. Mm -hmm. 